anthropomorphic creature into the babies. But then, I'm trying to, trying to process what you're saying right now because you're also, um, you're also like, with our, our titles this time, we've done it in sort of a way that where it's all sort of tongue in cheek as uh, cartoons would have been, you know, with like Looney Tunes, uh, they would drop animals on, on each other or, you know, someone would fall off a cliff or blow someone up and at one point that was supposedly funny and then it turned around and became not very funny. You couldn't say anything without uh, worrying about whose feelings you were hurting. And uh, then now there's another backlash towards that. You've got other cartoons that are just so incredibly scary that it's just like it's hard to it's hard to tell where you draw the line on what what violence is and and what you should be ashamed to to think is funny or not. Right. It's funny, a lot of times the kids have been coming in here and seeing the show, and the kids are finding the pictures very funny, because they're not seeing it in any kind of context. But the adults come in here, and they're like, ooh, that's not cool. Yeah, we had one, one uh, couple come in and immediately leave uh, <laughs> when they saw that, and they, uh, like, if they'd seen the explanation, then they would have known that uh, a, lot of, a lot of these are, are painted with respect to the, the subject. Uh, very much so. And and all the bunnies are filled with sand, mostly, except for the bunnies. <laughs> right that's how I managed that's to get through it. That's how she managed to get through it. Yeah. I mean, I don't have any problem taking the real bunnies. I to choose the bunnies because it's uh, obviously, it's polar opposites of some of the imagery, which is extremely violent. The bunny is probably one of the most safe and harmless things on the planet. Well, so I don't about See, the original idea that we had for it was like by putting the bunny, an in, such an innocent, harmless creature, in the position that was a victim, really ups the ante. It's, it's pure irony, too, and yeah. that, that's part of it. Like, sometimes people laugh at irony, and sometimes they don't, you know? And yeah. uh, like, you know, it's like, it's like you're laughing at something that's not even funny. Yeah. Like, it's 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 like, no, no. Not in this they just suck. It's the same, you know? So, I don't know. That's, that's pretty much it. Like, the bunnies, I, I started painting them with, uh, they are sympathetic characters, and, uh, like, who would really hurt bunnies, you know? Like, what kind of, what kind of person would do that? And I guess I kind of thought it, that it would be, but, like, I, they're fun to paint, and <laughs> I, I never expect them to have a, tragic ending and I just like see them like scaring them a little bit or sometimes they know that they're just made of sand or fluff or whatever and that the person who's doing something is you know the joke's on them because they think they're getting out that aggression but they're not, they're not really. That's why all these bunnies are smiling down here. Yeah that's one of the things with the pictures is they work on a lot of different they can say many things to many different as many different people look at them, they see one thing and the next person sees another. I mean, you can just turn to for us talk and me and her working on the same pictures and we still have two different interpretations of what we're doing here. So it works really, really well that way. And we're not done yet. No, I'm just like and I'm still looking at the paintings and painting. <laughs> I've been mean, painting them while we're here too, which is kind of Nice. And they're actually being together, so it's kind of cool to see that. Yeah, we never did. Like that. you wear, you wear these big glasses when you paint. Yeah, you didn't know that. Uh, Blind. <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> You're an old man.